Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I'm on the way up to the shopping center to walk. And uh, I uh, stopped by 99 cent only. And uh, I usually stop by there to take a look at their uh, produce. And then if I like what I see, I swing by and I get stuff uh, for dinner. So uh, while I was in there, I found some great stuff for the stockpile. I found these, um, they're like TV, uh, they're like um, hamburger helpers. So tonight is taco night, taco Tuesday. So I found, uh, let's see, Alfredo and lasagna. And I have, I have everything to make lasagna. And I thought, wow, this will really come in handy. And so they had five different kinds. And I got uh, stroganoff and uh, cheeseburger. And then the last one that I'll be having tonight is spicy taco. So if I add some cheese and some olives, this will be really good. Um, so for five dollars basically i have i'm good to go for five meals because i have hamburger um stockpiled in the uh freezer i bought the 20 uh patties for that are partially soy at walmart for on uh, around 9.98 or something and then this is an example of some of the sunglasses i sell kimona these are great sunglasses and here's one of my watches that I'm selling. And uh, this is a great, a great bracelet. It, it's really pretty. Uh, if you get it in the right light, which I can't right now, it's so pretty, it's amber-like. And then I was gonna show you guys, this is like a sand dollar uh, necklace. And one time I had, see how it's like little sand dollars? These are pretty. They look pretty with my... Um, but one time I had... And this is actually a glass um, necklace. And one time I had my stuff on consignment. And I hadn't heard for them from them for a long time. And I went back and the store was closed. So I called the lady, you know, and I got my stuff um, back. This um, problems paying the rents that are so high has been going on for a long time and then you know this is one of my favorite watches because it has a, a purple dial but i do sell stuff so um tonight is taco tuesday it's supposed to be tuesday tea but um i'm probably gonna have a taco tuesday tonight um, I, I bought, um, cherries, dried cherries at, um, Aldi's and I'm looking for black walnuts. And somebody asked me, are the scones hard to make? No, the scones are really easy to make. Uh, what I do is I mix all the dry ingredients and I sift them and then I stir them all good together. And then I put the butter in the freezer and then when I take it out, it's literally frozen. I chop it with a sharp knife one way and then the other, and then I put it in and I use a big fork and I, I cut it in and then I add, I make buttermilk out of usually evaporated milk and vinegar. So I have an egg and I have the buttermilk and I just pour that in the middle like a little well and then I basically wet my dough. And then the, the I've given you guys the recipes, it's on my Twitter. Uh, for a half uh, recipe, I use one half cup fruit. Usually people would make raisins. Raisins really good. And then a quarter cup uh, walnuts. So I'm looking for some black walnuts for my next back batch of um, scones. They're really easy to make. And then for the tea cook cookies at Grocery Outlet, they have French tea cookies and those are better than any um, tea cookies I can make although I think I make pretty good cookies but uh, they are originally five dollar cookies marked down to two dollars so I want to swing by there and get a few boxes also I've been stockpiling up candy since I heard that people resort to uh, thievery 
um, you know, when it comes to candy, which is kind of understandable because out here, some of the candy is a dollar 48, like a candy bar. But at 99 cent only, I can still get candy for a dollar. So think about it. You know, a candy bar would cost the same amount as my spicy taco uh, thing. Uh, one of my neighbors, ha this is years ago when I, I was 30, so I'm 66. This young guy had five kids. He was in the Navy. And at, at the first of the month or whenever he got paid, he would pile his... We had these little kitchens full of like hamburger helpers. And I assume they were having hamburger helper every night. You know, standards are low when you're young. I mean, I think about what I used to do to my poor son. Well, it came out okay. So, and we were laughing today about that because now, you know, uh, a lot, you know, I see these, um, these reports that younger people cannot buy a home. It takes about 10 years of hard work. I mean, hard work to really get anywhere and show any kind of prosperity. I remember when my ex-husband and I were married, um, you know, it was during one of those recessions and we were able to grab a house cheap. But um, the guy that I got the house from knew us, he was a Mormon and nobody had any cash at that time. So now, uh, here in San Diego, the the uh, houses are $850,000, the mean price. So you have to pack some powerful uh, punch financially to afford that. But the houses are um, inflated. And they're reporting that we're going to be seeing some defaults. And like I have warned everyone, I know, be careful, be careful. Uh, a lot of people think they're rich. It, it is kind of a, um, it's, it's deceptive. You know, we know the government is issuing all kinds of welfare, even Social Security. The government pays the military. So the government is, is gets their money from the taxes. So if... It gets to the point where the taxes, uh, they extended tax time a month this year. So, um, and people were getting money to offset the, the losses. So, you know, people have this money, but the, the thing is, it's kind, it's, it will, oh, uh, they call it retract. It will retract. We don't know when, and it's hard to figure out. Otherwise, everyone would be multimillionaires on the stock market. Okay, in my life, I have known two people that lost tons of money on the stock market. Um, and, and those were people that you would never expect. I mean, it was bad. Uh, the thing is, is once you do it one time, you can always do it again. But um, still, you know, I think everybody is still war wary. And my mother-in-law's house, um, you know, uh, was devalued. Her house at one time was valued at, guess how much? $850,000. And it retracted below four hundred, and estate taxes had to be paid. And the resulting money had to be split between several children. So in the end, it amounted to pretty much not that much. Okay, the same thing happened. My uh, mother inherited some property and there was 12 children. So by the time, you know, everything was paid out, you know, it wasn't so much. So in a way, it's like a wealth grab. You know, you work real hard and you accumulate this wealth and the, the lower class and the lower middle is being held down. So I don't want to say held down, but let's just say it's not designed so everyone's going to become millionaires. At one time, they said one of the fastest ways to become a millionaire, if you read this book, it's good. It's a book. It's called. I'm listening to audiobooks. Um, it's called um, 
something like become rich or something like that. So the idea was, well, no problem. You just buy a farm. Well, that is a bit of a problem now. So I say the best thing is to watch every single penny and be wary because they're getting, they're coming for you. The inflation is a form of a wealth grab and it's not going to, um, the inflationary periods, this is a, a deceptive thing about the inflation. Inflation goes on for a long time. It's not like inflationary and then it's suddenly gone, no. It, it's another form of, of taxation. You know, they tax the rich, the rich raise the prices, the poor suffer. Another thing is the liberal social services will not last. Remember Hillary? Get a job, get a better job, basically get you people get a job. So um, we can look to recent history that's going to tell us what's up. So this is going to be good tonight. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe.